everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's weekly guidance message for June 13th through June 19th. In this message, Virgo, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week. We're going to see what's challenging you this week and where this is headed if you stay in this energy. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Virgo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? King of Cups. We'll see if that card comes out again. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Beautiful, 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 beautiful energy, Virgo. So, Virgo, the energy surrounding you this week, the lovers, the queen of pentacles, the hanged man. I feel like things are coming into perspective for you when it comes to your life in general. Not only relationships, not only love, but also your stability, your personal stability, financial stability. I also feel here, Virgo, your perspective is changing when it comes to a particular relationship. A person in your life who you, I feel like you adore this person. Or at one time you adored this person, okay? But I do feel here, Virgo, things are moving forward very positively for you, okay? Progression. Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles, the Star card. So there's definitely a healing energy, a healing vibe around you. I also feel here, Virgo, this hanged man energy is things are on a pause right now. Okay. Things are kind of at a standstill with the Knight of Pentacles, the hanged man energy. It's like things are as good as it's going to get for right now until until you can get to a state of internal balance, okay? How I look at the star energy, because the star energy is actually associated with the strength card. If you look at the uh, number of stars in all the star cards, this is, I've looked. There's eight stars above her head, his head. However, if you look at tarot decks, the, the card number eight in the major arcana is the strength card. And that card talks about integration of your shadow. Okay? Integration. So that's not... People aren't all one thing. You can't be all light or all dark. Everybody has both internally. Okay? It's whichever energy you feed is the energy that's going to come out. However, if you just suppress your shadow side, don't acknowledge it, it's going to come out to bite you. What the star energy is talking about, what the strength energy is talking about, what the dark night of the soul the healing process, all of these processes that everybody talks about is just about integration of the shadow self. When you change your perspective on this, when you can look at this from a different perspective, you're not getting rid of the bad parts of you, okay? You can never get rid of parts of you. You can, however, accept that 
There are times when you're pushed to your limits where you have certain reactions that might not be so positive. And that's okay. But understanding that is going to be important because then you can understand your triggers. You can understand how you react to certain situations and the type of people that you need to have in your life. It's all correlated. It all starts with integration of your shadow. I like to call it integration because that's exactly what it is. You're kind of meshing the two, right? Accepting the shadow side, integrating it into your being. So let's clarify. This message is getting super deep, Virgo. If you find the message is helpful or resonating, give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. We're first going to clarify the lovers with the queen of pentacles and the hanged man for Virgo's energy. Please and thank you. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Mm. Virgo. So the devil energy is that shadow side, okay? That shadow side coming out. When it's in the reverse, anything in the reverse is the opposite. So it talks about letting go, right? Letting go of that shadow side. One thing, again, you can't get rid of parts of yourself. There's things that happen to us, not only in this lifetime, because we are multi-dimensional beings. So we've had past lives. That's what I believe. And in my belief, because we've had these past lives, we've had past experiences that we carry through lifetimes. So there are things that you may not even understand completely about yourself because maybe one, the, mem the memory is suppressed, or two, it happened in a different life, at a different place, at a different time. So it's almost as if it's a dream. But those lessons that we have learned are still very real because there are soul lessons that we're here to learn in order to ascend to a higher level. I feel here, Virgo, with this page of cups energy, there's a friend or a family member, maybe a cousin or a friend, somebody who's emotionally attached, but not too emotionally attached, if you can understand what that means. And this person is coming to help integrate that shadow side. Okay. Clarify the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles with the star energy. So the star talks about that healing process, finding that balance between the good and the bad, right? Integrating that shadow. I do feel like there is positive movement forward. I will say that things are kind of at a standstill. I don't feel like it's stagnancy. I don't feel like you're moving backwards. I still feel like there's progression. It's just very slow, steady progression, okay? Nothing is going to take off, excel quickly, until you can get a hold of this integration. And then once that happens, you're going to notice when you're starting to become in this balanced state, okay? Because you're going to start seeing things move forward a lot more quickly. Right now, I feel here, the Two of Swords is telling me that you're closed off. You're closed off to seeing things the way they truly are maybe even guarding your heart a little bit when it comes to certain situations. And I feel here, Virgo, as you move through this process, understand that that shell is going to come off. So you are going to be a completely different being. Not different, that your past self is still there. You're just kind of evolved. 
again, I do feel like there is a particular person, Virgo, in your energy that you need to pay attention to. This person has been positioned in your life to bring you messages, to bring you information, to help to guide you. So trust the process here. I know it's so cliche. It's something that I always say, but it's just the easiest way to say trust the universe. Let's pull some cards for advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. If you guys are interested in a personal reading and just chatting, meeting, coming down and checking out what I've been working on locally, I am currently doing tarot readings out of Lilith Moonshop. We are at the Kennewick Market in downtown Kennewick, Washington. So again, come by, say hi. We'll be there all summer. We have the Page of Cups again right here. Nine of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Cups with the Judgment. So, Virgo, this is really confirmation of what we've just been talking about. Okay, you are headed towards happiness. You are headed towards abundance, prosperity, whatever it is that you're working on. Keep doing exactly what it is that you're doing because it is working. Okay, you are headed in the right direction. The person that's been put on your path, it they may steer the pot a little bit, but trust the process, okay? Understand that when we're put in challenging situations, that's when we learn the most lessons, the biggest lessons, the hardest lessons. Again, Virgo, I feel like you are headed in the right direction, okay? There is a very abundant energy coming out of this reading, okay? It's interesting that this turned into kind of the integration of shadow real deep soul work because I usually don't share that information with people that aren't really close friends or clients. Um, but honestly, I do feel like the message was clear, needed to come out. Somebody needed to hear it. So I hope this message helps. You are headed in the right direction, Virgo. So trust the process. Okay. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste. Tricked ya. So I forgot to pull a soul truth card, but I didn't forget completely. So here we are. For those of you that enjoy this portion of the message, thank you guys again for all the love and the support. The soul truth message that Virgo needs to hear for today, spirit, please and thank you. How can I deepen my trust right now? Trust, surrender, let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety and when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today's soul action, let go of the trust, let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos. And be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Virgo, that's the end of the message. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.